Hi guys, so let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Leos. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Before we start, there is something flashing left or right. Okay. Um, follow my Instagram if you, uh, I do readings and IGTV at the same time for all Zodiac. So check it out. And if you comment on posts over there, um, I do try to read um, and put it in IG story. So that's how it is. Okay, so let's see now. Um, oh, we're going to be using Bougie Deck because it's, it's about to drop, okay, on August. So this is my very first tarot deck and it's called Bougie. Um, so check it out. Give it a chance, okay? Just like your ex. You give your chance to the ex. I know. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> so give a chance to the deck, Sal. Okay. So link down there and it's available in two kinds. So help yourself. Um, we're going to be doing two also more tarot decks here. How many decks are you trying? Just kidding. Here we go. Okay, let's see. All right, so Leo's. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's begin. Mm. And extended, um, I would also tr uh, do um, transit prediction if we do see the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so let's see. Let's see here, Leo. Ooh, we started. Yeah, we did. Ooh, six of coins. Okay. I feel here that there is a lot of things that you're getting and people are envious. Six of coins here, because the green is envy, I feel. But the green is also heart chakra, right? Okay. So green with envy because it's like you're just surrounded right now. So it's like the works I'm seeing here. Like someone can be giving you, um, you know, so much attention because the pentacles for me is time and you're feeling it, okay? It's like, oh, wow. Like this person is all about this, you know, all about this. It can, again, this is vice versa. Okay? It can happen to be you are the cross watcher. Um, the six of coins, so that, but you don't, you know, there's no eyes over here. So it's just like you don't see it. It's just like, okay, so does this mean, what does it mean when someone is here for me? You're trying to understand it because like, what does it mean when someone is in love? What what does it mean? You know, because um, again, this can be the person. Yeah. So because the, the heart chakra is so open with the six of coins. That's why they are able to give. Okay. They're able, able to, wow, the accent is so thick. They're able to, mm -hmm, blah, 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 blah. they're able to extend themselves. Now, having a six of pentacles is a journey, of course, to get there because there's a moment that the person or you are is not able to give that. But here, it shows that I'm ready to extend myself, to open up, to reach out. Six of coins, love that card. Yes. Mm -hmm. The haters, of course, with the six of coins, right? The envy. Be careful. Let's see. Five of Wands. Uh, who got this? Taurus? Okay. This is feeling, um, you know, stuck. Okay. Because the fa the, the, it's, it's like a cage. You could be, you know, it's like going through some sort of uh, um, trying to understand. It's like, why am I here? Like what I mentioned. Or this person is. They're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. It's a standstill. Not a three of ones, you know, kind of standstill. This is about 
can we make a, this connection a success? Because if I open up and I reach out, you know, will we go to the six of wands? Because five of wands is like we're having some sort of conflict right now because there's no movement. So five of wands is not movement. It's chaotic movement. Things are just like haywire, okay? And this is what the five of wands here. But it's a silent haywire. Like it's not like a five of swords like really communicating it. It's more of like eternal struggle, right? It's always my Yelp review. This is someone who feels, who shows confident outside, but inside it's just like, okay, like I have things that I need to address. I have things that I need to make, you know, to make a move. Because six of one is moving, five is not. Okay, so let's see here. Six of ones, and I keep talking about a six. So then there it is. You will be able to move out from feeling stuck both of you are, and it's gonna lead to something successful. It's a moment with the five of wands that you guys are having difficulty with each other. Who's reaching out and who's not reaching out, it is a struggle. But as soon as you guys understand like you know, there's vulnerability between the two of you, then here comes sipping the tea, you know. All those tea, because it's all about the truth, you know, with for me, success is connected with truth. When you know how real the connection is and how real the person is, then you know that's where it can go to something successful, meaning fulfillment. Okay, that's a six of ones. All right, that's good. It's going there. Yes, that speaks volume, just like your hair. Okay, five of ones. Someone has a very volume hair right here, or you just like to have a volumized hair. Let me see now. Underneath the six of ones, emperor. Yes. So Aries or Scorpio, this is someone who will tell you. Like, this is how we can work it out. Very commanding, very, you know, like they just do what they're supposed to do without even thinking, considering you. So, um, you feel though that it's just like, wow, it's like, like this person is a man. Like, what a man, what a man, what a mighty man, basically. This person, that is so, right? Because um, they're showing the, the power that they have. Very influential person can be with the emperor in the six of coins. Like this is a person who knows uh, how to give to charity. Also, emperor is a, um, a philanthropist with the six of coins because they can help the poor, the needy, and the weak. Um, again, but this can be you. Um, you could be also involved in charity work. The emperor shows here with the six of coins, I will give you what is right, and that's how we can move the connection. It's, it's, this is a mature person that you're, you're connecting with. But if that's you, then you know, you're doing awesome also, okay? Now, underneath the five of wands, Knight of Cups, okay. I feel like, you know, there is a celebration. You will feel won by this person, swoon by Mr. Right over here. And you feel like it's just like, so the whole time that you were giving all the attention, the whole time that you were telling me this and that, so that was love, okay? So you understand that this person operates on a different frequency where, for example, love for others is just like dating, romantic connection. This is a person who's like, if I love you, I take care of you, but we do it the right way. You know, like the person has more concern to your welfare than just the whole, you know, the whole, you know, watching movie and then going out. They are, this person is concerned for your welfare. Okay. I like this person. Okay. Because there's the Knight of Cups. You feel, that's you. You feel in love. The person has won your heart. Okay. Underneath the Six of Wands, Ace of Swords. <laughs> I like the communication, sipping the tea. The, you know, again, the communication, the truth is the, the only way that this connection can lead towards success. Cutting down the bull, you know, because the Five of Wands can be a bull, meaning, again, the, the, the why do I keep repeating myself with that, with that part? Um, because the communication, okay, you guys can be repeating a cycle, that's why. Um, with the Ace of Swords, Six of Wands, let's talk about the move. Let's talk about the direction. Instead of us having our own internal struggle, then let's talk about it together. This is about working as a team. Okay, I like it, like it, like it. It's almost like Cardi B song. I like it like that, right? I got dollars, I got... Dun, 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 dun. It's been playing in my Spotify, sorry. <laughs> I like it. Here we go. Next to the Emperor. You got a King of Cups, Scorpio energy. Um, so I, told, I, I always say this, I like the Emperor when they use the King of Cups. They're sensitive. 
sensitive to feelings and love. They express it, yes, as a six of coins, giving you can be financial support, giving you the attention. But again, this is love. And you were trying to figure out, is this love? Yes, it is. Okay. And you know, you're celebrating, it's like, I, someone loved me. You know, not that you, nobody loves you, <laughs> okay? But this person is expressing, it's like, listen, I have genuine feelings for you. King of Cups. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. I don't like lousy. That's lousy. Mm -hmm. Now, underneath the Knight of Cups, let's see here. Strength card. I felt like your card is going to come out for some reason. Um, meaning you will come out here as the winner. Uh -huh. You've tamed the emperor. It was a struggle with the five of wands. It was hard to understand. You know, it's like this person's DNA is different. You've never dated someone who is this strong. Like you're the strength card already, but you met someone who's like, whoa, like this person is the shizzles. Okay. And this person makes me happy, okay? This person is all about love, you know? So you tamed someone who is similar to your energy. Underneath the Ace of Swords. Five of Cups, there you go. This is what was bothering the two of you. Get five of Wands to the Five of Cups. Things in the past that wasn't clear. Was there a breakup? Was there, you know, dissatisfaction in the relationship? It was, you know, it's like you could have been trying to fix it or they were trying to fix it. But, you know, it's like when things are done, said and done, well, said and done, that's over. It's time to move forward from it. Like we can't go back to our memories because we ain't no memory card, right? We're a processor. So let's process things, discuss with the Ace of Swords so that then, okay, the fruition of the success, I mean, the successful fruition of the relationship can manifest with the Six of Wands. I like this read, okay? So I'm gonna continue this reading, Leo's. Um, link down there in the description box for the extended. The accent is thick as always. Um, I'll see you there and then we'll dive deeper more of the situation as you have managed and you know to find someone who cares and loves you. Bye guys. This is the consistency card. Instead of feeling out of place, you will feel in place with this person. Because the eight of coins, you know, tangled in that hair, I stand now each other's connection. Like, yes, this is love. Yes, this is the person. But I want to see this heartache that you have. Okay, because that's third party. Okay? Now, this hierophant energy here, king of swords, the ten of wands, they're willing to take the burden with you.